Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create new enchantments. This time we'll be doing shoulder enchants for the inscription profession. In order to do this, you'll be needing WDBX editor, Stone Harry spell editor, and Heidi SQL. So let's get started. First thing first, you're going to want to look for an existing spell that is closely aligned to what you're working with. So we're going to be doing some inscription shoulder enchants. So in this case, we're going to be looking for master's inscription of the axe. So go ahead and open up Spell Editor, find the proper spell ID, and we're just going to go ahead and right click it, and duplicate, and choose a unique unused number. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and rename this to Simple Inscription of the Storm. All I'm going to be doing today is a plus five spell enchantment. This is going to be for lower level characters. And then we're going to go ahead and edit the spell description, which is permanently adds five spell power to shoulder armor. Save again. Go into effects. So you'll notice here in spell effects one, you have enchant item, base points negative one, one. All this doesn't matter too much. Uh, what we're going after here is misc value A. So go ahead and open up WDBX editor. Look for the DBC that's called spell item enchantment. Open it up. Choose the appropriate WoW version, which is probably at least Wrath. And then we're just going to look for an existing spell. So you can create a new spell, but this is going to just be a beginner guide on looking for existing spells, adding them to the spell that we're working with to create a new spell. So in this case, we have five spell power. So just a little bit about the table here. We have our ID number. We have the effect type, which in this case is just stats, which is five. We have effect 2, 3, effect points max, which is 5. We just keep both of these at 5 for max. Effect argument 45 for spell. This is the same as item template for what you would put in stats. The rest of it is pretty much the same. If you want to learn more about each table, just go to wowdev.wiki, bb spell item enchant. This will give you what each table does, essentially. So now that we have the proper enchantment, which is 5 spell power, we're going to take this ID, which is 209. We're going to put it in misc value A. Hit save. And then we're going to go over to the items tab. So this here is what we select for where we want the enchantment to take place. So if we want it to be on the head, we can click head, neck, neck, shoulders, etc. We'll keep it the same. Then the reagent plus the count, this is the item. This is the item cost of the spell, essentially. So this here is an ink, 43127, which refers to Snowfall ink, which is a Wrath reagent. But I'm going to look for something that's in the classic era reagents. So I'm probably just going to go ahead with Lion's ink. So I'm going to click on a Lion's ink, see what item ID that is, which is 43116. Paste it in there. I'm going to make it require at least five. Hit save, and after that's done, we can go ahead and export this DBC. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up WDBX Editor again, open files. We're going to look for skill line ability DBC. We're going to run a search for this inscription of the storm, whatever inscription, right? So hit Control F, paste that in. We're going to copy this line. Go all the way to the bottom, paste it at the end, and this right here tells us that it's going to be inscription. So this makes sure that it shows up in your inscription professions tab. We're going to make sure that we have our spell ID, which is 861117. We're going to go over here and change the trivial skill line rank high, trivial skill line rank low. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to look for something that's in line with Lion's Inc. So what I'm probably going to do is do 130, which is when it becomes red. And I'll do 145, which is when it becomes gray, I believe. Go ahead and hit save. We're going to exit out of that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Heidi SQL. We're going to look for the table called NPC Trainer. We're going to look for an existing trainable spell from the 
profession trainer that we want. So for me, I want a low-level profession trainer. In this case, I've got to look at what else Inscription can make. So we're going to go ahead and do... So I'm just looking at the spell ID for Armor Vellum at the moment. And this is for Armor Vellum number two. And this is the spell ID that we want, which is 59499. Hit copy. You can run a search here. It looks like it's right here. So required skill rank. To duplicate this row, we're going to put in our spell ID, which is 861117. We're going to put the cost. I'm just going to leave the cost the same. We're going to put the required skill rank. I'll probably honestly change the reagents and all that fun stuff later. But for now, I'm just going to put it in. I think I had it at 130. I can't remember off the top of my head as the lowest. Uh, again, I'm probably going to change this to like 295 or 300. I'll, I'll change the reagent later as well, but for the purposes of this video, that's basically how you do it. So now this should appear on the spell trainer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to close out of our client. We're going to open up Latix MPQ Editor. We're going to go into our working DB files client patch, which is the final patch in our list of MPQs that has DB files client. We're going to go ahead and take our exported spell DBC. We're going to put it in our server DBC folder. All our other DBC files, right? This is again for the server where you have M maps maps, vmaps, camera, etc. Then we're going to take the same spell dbc and we're going to put it into our db files client so that we can see it on the client side of things. Then we're going to go back into our server dbcs which is skill line ability dbc we're going to copy that all over and we're also going to copy that over into our db files client. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and shut down our server, start it back up, start my client back up as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and head over to our description trainer and make sure that it is actually on the trainer itself. And it looks like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit train. I'm going to look at my stats ahead of time. So my spell damage at the moment is 207. The Ideally, the inscription should show up in your inscription tab. So here it is, simple inscription of the storm. Need five lines ink. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the inscribe button. And as you can see, we are successful. So 7 plus 5 plus some talent bonuses. So 207 plus 5 is 202, and it looks like it worked out just fine. You could even take the spell that we made and add it to an item if you wanted to, much like the Aldor enchants and whatnot, and then take off the required reagents if you wanted to make that locked behind reputation or something of that sort. In that case, I would probably just make a copy of the inscription item and then put the spell ID on there. So. That's pretty much it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys on the other side of Azeroth.